Hi guys, Marcia here. In today's video, I will show you how I paint wood effects for minis with three different techniques. An example, I will use these three barrels. With this first one, I will do a simple technique using only brush and the dry brush effect. For this one, I used the same method, but I did more details and color variations. For this last one, I didn't use dry brush and I used the airbrush for shading. After I painted the barrels, I painted our silent coin tavern. And you see the whole process. Let's do it! Here are the materials I used. AK Interactive Paint Acrylic. Just the colors I used for the wood. Not objects like bottles, deck. Keep in mind that you can use other paints. These are just the ones I used. And there are also these other products in addition to paints. To reinforce the feeling of volume, I applied a black primer. Then a gray one at the top and around, keeping the lower part darker. And I'm going to paint these three barrels differently. Two only with a brush, without an airbrush. And between these two, one is more detailed than the other. For the third one, I will use airbrush to reinforce the notion of volume. In the end, we will notice that because they are simple objects, it's not necessary to decorate too much. Painting in a simple array and using dry brush and wash techniques is already very cool. If you want to play with colors, you can add more details, but I think for wood, you can make an amazing painting faster. Well, let's go to the first barrel. I will start with dark brown color. Deep brown. Deep red and deep yellow and also black I will mix the black with deep brown and apply to the bottom part of the barrel making it a little darker I'm doing a half tone and I'm going to apply it to the middle part of the barrel. Now the pure deep brown on the top. I'm applying black on the metallic part. I'm doing the first dry brush with the deep brown color, which is more reddish. I dried the brush on a piece of paper, removing the excess of paint. It is really almost dry. It's important that the underlying layer is dry enough so that it doesn't mix. At the bottom part, I did a dry brush with a darker brown. For a second dry brush, I'm using deep orange. I'm using a metallic metal paint, gunmetal color. If you remove the excess paint with paper or cloth, not as much as it would be for the dry brush. When you apply it, it will not cover everything. It will leave some parts in black and this can be interesting to make it old and worn. I'm mixing beige with orange to highlight. And to highlight the bottom part, I added the deep brown to this last color. I will do wash, which is a very diluted paint used to highlight the tails. As it is more liquid, it enters the crackers and grooves. There are ready-for-use washes. I have this wash for wood and it is something I'm not yet familiar with. 
even the toxicity of this enamel bothers me a lot. There must be others based on acrylic. Also, there are many recipes of wash on the internet, if you want to do your own wash. For this first one, I want to do it in a simple way. I will not use this wash, I will try isopropyl alcohol and ink. I added dark brown to keep it from turning so black. As I said, there are many recipes on the internet. This that I did isn't a perfect wash. If you have patience, you can apply the wash in each crack. Or you can apply in everything. But if your wash is too pigmented, it may end up covering the colors more than you want. The conclusion I had is that if you prefer to cover everything, the color should be lighter. You should consider the darkening. I put water, the color dark flesh tone, and mixed it with ultra matte medium to make a rust effect. First, this darker tone. Now, deep orange. Light orange to finish the rust, with a little more matte medium. I'm reinforcing a little more the silver. To reduce the darkening of the wash, I remove a little with water, taking care to remove just the excess wash without removing the paint from the underlying layer. Now a last dry brush with beige and light orange. The lightest color to highlight. End of the first barrel. The second one. The difference is that I will add more colors and I will apply the red to use wash. So, the three shades of brown in the same way. I apply a lighter brown, the deep brown, carefully and slowly adding even lighter colors, enhancing the volume. Lines with light orange and deep orange. I'm using the red to use wash. Black and the color gunmetal on the metal part. To finish the rust effect, I'm using reddish brown and orange colors with ultra matte medium. The third one. If you have an airbrush, you can apply the base coat with it. Then use the brush to add the other colors. Light brown, light orange and beige. In this one, I didn't use the dry brush technique.
Now I'm applying black, but I'm creating lines, creating a texture in the wood. I used the airbrush to shade, to make both the bottom part of the barrel and the edges close to the metal parts darker. A very diluted paint, for that I used an IK interactive thinner, which is isopropyl alcohol based. And only at the bottom part I apply dark colors. I think it gives a cool effect. Applying wash. But I'm feeling its pigmentation is very concentrated and it has been getting darker. Little by little I'm learning to use this effect. I think the wash could be more diluted or I might have had this effect right at the beginning in the base coat because now I have to smooth it out in the bottom part. For that I'm applying orange brown. Making rust effects with orange and reddish brown tones with ultra mate medium and taking the opportunity to try the Red to Use Wash Extreme Rust Wash. That's it! Now let's paint the tavern. I'm adding deep orange and dark flesh tone. I will use the same colors as the barrels, but some have dried, so gradually I will add more. Starting with the dark brown mixed with black. I apply this color to the ads where I imagine it to be darker, thinking of variation, not to just be a brown tone, very flat. I added black to the dark flesh tone to make it a little different from the tones of the rest of the pieces. I also intend to make the counter more reddish and make all the other woods more orange. As in the bearer, I'm creating a gradient. After dark brown with black, I am applying pure dark brown and then deep brown. Here it will be a reddish brown. I basically mix dark flesh tone with black. I will use orange brown and deep brown applying the deep brown to start making the color variations and lightening the most central part. Another color, sunny skin tone, to highlight along with orange brown. Keeping the counter with more reddish tones. Wash time. I applied more on the ads to avoid darkening too much the light tones, so as not to miss this variation of brown, orange and beige. In the other parts, I applied the wash carefully only in the cracks. After removing the excess of wash, I will apply dry brush. For this, I will use the colors beige and light orange on the more orange woods, 
so as beige and orange brown on the more reddish wood in the counter. Now, just finishing the details of the objects on the table and counter. I painted a suggestion of the sweets in the cards, painted the bottles, candles, I applied gold in the chest and silver in the barrels. For a crisp look on the pig, I used the wash. After removing its excess, it became very made, so I applied the gloss varnish. Then that's it! Here is the result. If you want to print and paint this awesome mini at home, subscribe to loot every month you get a new bundle of minis and you get access to this tavern in the welcome pack as soon as you subscribe link in the description bye bye